What's up fellow engineers, Dr. McKay here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing our last class on shipbuilding. Today's class is Ion Engines. So let's go take a look at what I got. Obviously in the last episode we talked about hydrogen, is, what, is which I'm flying now. And as you can see I've made a space dock so we can build our Ion ship. So let me just land this thing. All right, now we've landed. Let's go take a look at what we need to do for the ion engines. Right, so as before with the atmospheric and hydrogen, for the ion ships we need a cockpit and a battery, possibly reactors now that you're in space, a gyro, H2O2 generator to give you that oxygen, cargo containers, your two ion engines, obviously ore detectors, antennas, your lights, solar panels could come in handy in space, and obviously drills or guns depending on what you want. So now we have all of the grids that we need, let's go build our ion ship. Now the ion ship is pretty much the simplest out of the three, because all you really kind of need is a cockpit, battery, gyro, thrusters. I want to start with a landing gear or something just so it keeps it stationary. Now obviously I've got this piston in the center of this room to give me a base. Now it's a shame that the game doesn't let you start off with a connector. So as you can see the connector doesn't want to connect. So yeah, now you, I think you connect, connect, connect like merge blocks together but Unfortunately, connectors don't work. So, we'll quickly just do a landing gear for stabilization reasons. Where is it? It's not going to work. Hmm. Right, get rid of that a bit. There you go. stuck yeah make sure it's stuck to the ground in space now you can do it floating in zero G but your ship might float off so just keep that in mind right now we want to do a cockpit Then H2O2 generator, match up with the ports. Then we want a large cargo box for anything you gather. Ooh. All right, there you go. And now obviously you've got them, you want to basically chuck your batteries on. Now I kind of like to put my batteries up close. Two batteries. And now, obviously now we're in space, we can we can use a reactor. So kind of, if you want, build something up here. Just to give you some options for connections, so you don't miss out. Go for two, you can either go for two small reactors, or you can go for a large one. I kind of like, I prefer the small ones. They don't take up that much room. There we go. And now we want a gyro. Always remember your gyros. Now we've got a gyro. And obviously, like we forgot last time in the hydrogen, we we'll make sure we have an antenna as well. Because when you're in space, you're going to need it. Alright. So that's basically your ship. Yeah, it's simple. It's just cockpit batteries cargo and power generation now see you want to put your, your engines on now you've got to be careful because the little ion thrusters don't produce a lot of thrust 
not really compared to the large well the large small one yeah so you can go basically like one of these on the back and that'll do be the same as the hydrogen to be fair with a small craft like this now obviously the bigger you go the more you kind of need yeah but we're gonna go for like a simple craft here but before we put the engines on we need to decide what we're building so I might as well build a miner again and because I don't really like building gunships at the minute now I might do a video on building gunships to show you how to do a conveyor system for your weapons and whatnot. So let's just maybe do this. Like one there. One there. Because we're obviously in space, so there's a lot to mine. Yeah. Now you're probably thinking, well, how do you cut up the ports? Well, that's easy. Now you get your small conveyor tubes. And you basically come there. Same on this one. Come in, up, like that. Well, kind of want to make a symmetry, don't you? <clears throat> so, down there. Well, kind of like that. There you go. That works. Now, you, now, I might just get rid of that one there and put an ore detector down. Kind of keep it symmetry mode. Just making it look the same. So now we have that, obviously our ore then now connects into the cargo container. It doesn't go, even go into the uh, cockpit now, it just goes straight into the cargo container. We're going to place the connector on. Boom, connector. And now you kind of want to now think about your engines. So, we need to have them pointing in, pointing in every direction. So, forward, back, up, down, left, right. Now. They don't need to be connected to a conveyor tube. They come out the atmospheric. You can place them anywhere and they'll still work as long as you have power provided. So, what we got here? Wow. I might put one there. One there. Like so. So that's four at the front. Yep. Now you can obviously you can add more cargo on this if you want, so let's just let's just demonstrate by putting another large one on. Uh, get the right way. Alright, so that's another large one. Yeah, so we're kinda of making like a giant cargo vessel. Well not a giant one, but a large one to take a lot of stuff. So if you're in space you kinda of, you don't wanna be running backwards and forwards to your base every five minutes so now we could basically put like two engines on there if it works right let's say four there so you want to make sure you have enough thrust to counteract yourself in no gravity so what four there yeah. Now we could do like say one there. One there. And obviously once you've built your ship, you can then build a frame around it. So obviously it looks a lot neater than what I'm building. I'm just basically doing a skeletal structure a skeletal structure to show you. So now obviously we need downward thrust. Well, upwards, downwards. It's all the same in space. Now you can kind of keep it the same if you really wanted to. Just go like that for a minute. Alright. So is that all our angles covered? I think it is. So you've got your large ones, you've got all your maneuvering thrusters, and your reverse. But I'm thinking maybe just sticking a couple more on the front just help slow down so you don't have to worry about doing suicide burns there you go now if you really wanted to you could add a couple a couple mini guns on 
like one there if you really wanted to and obviously have ammo running towards it so you can at least defend yourself but obviously not yet what else are we missing that's about it I think oh solar panel there you go now solar panels could come in handy if you're in space there you go just may not look pretty but it'll do it'll serve its function all right and it kind of conceals your engines as well so now you could just build a box frame around and be nice and easy um, you might just get rid of that one and spin it around All right, now that looks a bit bad, doesn't it? All right, so let's take this ship out for a test drive. Oh, wait a minute. Forgot, forgot some uranium. Now, we find some uranium earlier from the node we found earlier. Well, now, where is it? Oh, I went straight to my reactor. Right, All right let's take the 2K. <laughs> oh, a bear pool. Energy critical. Now get some ice as well for the H2O2 generator. Right, now we're all set and it should go to the allocated places. Let's just check. So there's ice now in the H2O2 and uranium in the small reactors. Obviously, 2k of uranium is quite a lot for this the small reactors, but the small reactors will work, so that'd be good. So now we want to basically set up our actions. Now, it's pretty simple on an ion ship. You kind of just want your batteries to go and recharge, connectors to connect, and or landing get landing gears and whatnot, and obviously drills. Why does it say I got Gatling gun there? Right. Now, obviously, you can group them up like I've shown you before in previous videos. Now, now we're up. Let's just get rid of the base here because we do not want it. There we go. And let's see if it flies. Now this door should be all Mac. Gotta set it up that way. There we go. Not a bad looking ship, I suppose. Alright. That's pretty quick. Alright. Now this is basically a simple design in space, obviously it's used quite a lot of platinum for your ion engines. Yeah, but basically you can disassemble like your hydrogen ship if you just want to stay in space because hydrogen is quite um, resource intensive with the ice but you can do a bit of both or you can actually do all three engines on the same ship to make it like planetary and space worthy but this ship is literally for space there's nothing else it could be used for you can't fly in atmosphere yeah now it's not not too bad Maybe I could add a few more thrusters in the left and right side directions. So I'm still moving quite a bit. Let's go test it out mining. Let's go get this little rock. Ooh, right. So it's not too bad. Could do with a couple more. But I'll leave that down to you when you when you build it. Um, that one. Now, with an, with in space, weight doesn't particularly matter too much. It does matter because obviously, the heavier your ship, the more time it takes for you to slow down. But generally speaking, generally speaking, it basically works as advertised. And we check our stuff. And as you can see, it works all the same. It's all connected up. And obviously, you can come back. To like now obviously with right and now obviously now with this build I've put two large cargo containers in we should have enough space for well as you can see we got like 30,000 liters worth of space 
So there you have it. Pretty easy construction. I hope you found it, my series on shipbuilding helpful and has helped you out in building your own ships. So if you like the video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more. And if you want me to do any more videos on shipbuilding or anything like that, please leave that down in the comments below. I've been Dr. McKay, and as always, happy building, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.